Yo, what's up guys? I hope you enjoyed the Holcomb video drive. Some of it was extremely scary. I, that's at one point I had to turn around because I was too scared. But anyway, also hope you enjoy the promo. Tell me what you think. We got some more promos coming out, commercials, all that stuff for the merchandise line. So let me know what you think. Enjoy the video and enjoy the promo. Peace out guys. So what is up everyone? It's October 20th, 2023 and we are gonna be doing a Holcomb Valley video right now, just driving through, and we, meaning me and you guys, because my poor baby couldn't make it. Her neck's killing her, so she's not able to uh, take all the <laughs> that this road gives you, so. And also, we've got some promos that are, uh, I hope you guys enjoy them regarding the merchandise. It's Guys, it's so professional, like I can't believe it. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, commercial, like uh, like there's just so much stuff that's uh, that you guys are gonna be seeing real soon. Hope you enjoy it. Alright guys, so we are about to turn into the turn to go to uh, Hol Holcomb Valley. So here we are. I believe this is it. Pollock Canyon Road, this is the one. So we're gonna take this, hopefully we can make it all the way to Fonskin. I always get lost up here, so wish me some lucky, luckity, luckity, luck. Luckity, luck, don't talk back. I really hope we can do this. Unfortunately, we got the dirt road, so I gotta roll up the window and turn on the AC. Right now, it's 75 degrees in beautiful Big Bear, you guys. Um, yeah, I hope you all are doing great. It's always a pleasure to be here with you guys. This time of year, I don't really like too much because I don't get to be making as many videos as I would like. It's really important to me to be able to uh, do all my all my videos and communicate with you guys. So yeah, we are starting to head up. I think this is like four or five miles until we get to uh, where we need to go. We did get my tire fixed, so I'm not necessarily worried about popping a tire. And good news on the tire front, pretty soon I'm going to be uh, um, switching out into my winter tires. For winter time, obviously, for snow. My snow tires, not winter tires, my snow tires. There's a huge difference, you guys. So let me give you guys my personal experience when it comes to these different types of, of, of tires. I've had all-terrain tires. I've had winter tires. I've had all-season tires. So even if you get winter tires, you guys, which are like an all-terrain type of a winter season tire, they are nothing like snow tires. And the snow tires don't look like anything special at all. I was expecting them to have huge spikes on them and, and big knives and stuff to dig into the ice, but no, they don't even look as good as my regular tires, but my gosh, they are way, way better and way amazing on the snow and, and the ice. So I really suggest that you guys who come up here a lot consider having a pair of snow tires in your arsenal. I promise you, you will not regret it. I promise, I promise, I promise. I just don't want to get a lot of dust in my car, but some of these views off to the side with the window down is so much better. Oh my gosh, just beautiful little nook views of the lake and uh, that side of the mountain range. But yeah, guys, I'm super excited about this. I'm super excited about where this channel is going, and I'm very grateful for each and every single one of you. Uh, the past week, forgive me. I know I've been really late on my responses for the comments, so please forgive me for that. You guys know that I'm... Yeah, she wouldn't have made it on this drive at all. You guys know that I'm on top of that always. I love responding to you guys. It's, it's, it's what I look forward to now when it comes to making these these uh, videos is our interactions and a, a lot of the beautiful statements you all make a lot of the great questions you all have so yeah thank you again for everything um, I'm really looking forward to the continued growth of this channel to see 
where we can all take this thing. But yeah, once again, we're on Pollock Canyon Road. Let me let me get to the map here and on my uh, see if we can get to the map. I'm not the sharpest tool in the shed. Definitely a tool, but not the sharpest one. <laughs> You're not supposed to agree with that at all. Like, not at all. All right, oh God, you! I really hope my tires make it. I know I'm getting close to the end of the tread on these ones, but I wasn't gonna change them out until we get to the snow season. And then, something to look forward to is next year when I switch out my snow tires, I'm gonna have to spend a small fortune on regular tires, and I'm not looking forward to that. But again, I love doing this for you guys. You guys bring me so much peace and joy into my heart. I can never express to you, any of you enough of how you make me feel and how wonderful your support and your love is. And I love doing this for you guys. It, it's, it's, truly, it's truly freedom for me. I really love you guys so, so, so much. Baby, I wish you were here. But yeah, guys, I can't wait to... The commercial is hilarious, you guys. Like, And I think I did some fairly good acting in it. So I, I really hope you guys enjoy it. Like, I, when you see it, you guys are not, not going to believe it. It's like you're watching a regular commercial on TV. It's that professionally done. Clearly, I didn't do anything. Like, I'm not the one who put this whole thing together. So it's... Uh, a professional company who really likes what we do and he and his family have been fans of this channel for quite some time and uh, they decided that they wanted to really see me grow and help me as much as possible that's just that's exactly who you guys are you guys are angels and saints and I've worked so hard for so many years doing this guys this is this is the start of our ninth year doing this and you guys have been with me every step of the way and so supportive. So I'm gonna do the best I can to get you guys all the merchandise possible. Um, obviously, it's gonna help me an awful lot, you guys. It's gonna be so helpful. Um, you know, I'm, I'm not unique. I know a lot of us really struggle with our everyday bill paying and stuff like, like that. So I just, uh, I just realized how lucky I am to have this opportunity and I just really hope a lot of you actually um, end up getting some stuff and it, enjoying it and enjoy most of all supporting the brand because we are the original ones to do anything like this even those channels that you've seen the, the past few years up in Mammoth that have way more subscribers than me but it's simply because there's a lot more snow so a lot more people like to see more crazy snow situations but all these channels, even our copycat channels in, in this town, which flatters me, all started years after I, I started doing this. I never realized that what I was doing was a very unique genre. I, like most of you know, I started this channel out of pure depression and being more bro so broke I couldn't afford to pay attention. So basically, um, yeah, it, I, I, I couldn't afford any thumb drives, you guys. And that's how I wanted to save all my snow videos. So when I'm feeling really down and out on life, I can just hit the play button and watch it snowing uh, and feel a lot better immediately. But I couldn't afford a thumb drive, you guys. And I thought, you know what? Maybe that YouTube thing that I've always talked to smack about for so many years, saying that I'll never be a YouTuber, maybe I'll just post them there because it's a free cloud pretty smart huh see I'm, I'm not as dumb as I look but I am pretty dumb um, so yeah I, I was thinking to myself my gosh why don't I just post those videos in the I in the cloud for free on YouTube and my other great decision was I could make the videos private and just keep them for myself but my main thought was why on earth would I keep these videos private if I know driving in the snow and being in that type of environment has all, has pretty much saved my life and made me feel so good and get through so many difficult times in my life 
why not make it public? Because if it impacts one other person's life, then our job is done. We've we've done it. It's it's about touching people's lives. It's about impacting people's lives and sharing your experience, strength, and hope with other people that they might get something out of it and grow and become better, stronger people. And by no means am I that strong person yet, but I'm, I'm working on it every single day and you guys make it make that feasible. You guys allow that possibility to actually come into my life. And I, I, I just, I really, I know it, I talk nonstop and every time I say like, I really don't have any words. I know you guys are probably sitting there thinking like, oh my gosh, you got plenty of words. You just don't have any breaks in between your talk. <laughs> but I really don't have the words to articulate what you guys have done for me. All I can say is you guys have saved my life. You guys have truly saved my life from, from someone who, who was extremely weak, especially emotionally, extremely weak. You guys showing me that I have purpose and that what I'm doing is a worthwhile cause because it is impacting a lot of people's lives is mind blowing to me. As a matter of fact, we have a couple on this, this channel, um, Miguel and Marina. They are just such beautiful, beautiful people, you guys. Amazing people. I, I never suggest this, but they came to my house out of the blue, knocked on my door. And as I said, I don't suggest that. I'm always willing to meet you guys, but I'll, I'll tell you what, the fact that they did that was one of the greatest moments I've ever had in my entire life. They came to my door, she was crying, and he was explaining that about a week and a half ago, her sister had passed away. And the only thing getting her through every single day was watching my videos on a loop. Guys, I immediately broke into tears. I'm, first of all, I'm very emotional. I'm Pisces, but I broke into tears right away. Couldn't believe a statement like that. Um, and yeah, guys, so that's, that's what this channel is doing for some people. And I get a lot of other comments too, similar to that, how my channel or our channel, I don't mean to sound conceited because it's our channel, is doing things like that for people, helping them get through so many situations in life that are not easy. And for me to be able to be on that side of history when it comes to helping people, you guys, that's all that I want in life. That's all that I want is to have that type of impact on uh, other people because most of my life I, I was spoken down to not by my mom and dad but I have six siblings and lots of aunts and uncles I'm the youngest of seven children um, I was always kind of talked down to like I'm a loser I'll never amount to anything and um, I'm a waste just really hurtful things and when it comes from the people who supposedly love you you end up believing these things because why would the people who love you the most lie to you so long story short, once I got away from my family and moved up here, which was very scary, um, I moved up here May 1st, 2015. That's when I took uh, possession of my place. From that point on, the weirdest thing started happening. Like uh, a couple years into, into being here, a bunch of people around the holidays up here would constantly ask me, hey, we would love to have you for Thanksgiving or Christmas and, um, this and that and it just shocked me because I was like I, I don't get it I thought I'm worthless and that no one wants to be around me and and I don't have anything to offer this world or anything like like so it, it was just shocking that pretty much everybody else who didn't know me or have any association with my family felt this way about me and as I said it confused the living daylights out of me because I just I I I had been hearing so so much from supposed loved ones about who I am and how I'm not good and just I'm I'm a waste and stuff like like just very hurt, hurtful things. I just never like it it confused me. But over the years, I've come to you know accept what people who who haven't known my family or known me have been saying, and their actions definitely speak a lot louder than their words because they do take action and they do want me to be there in my physical form. And uh, it's just a beautiful feeling. So I don't want anybody watching these videos to ever give up on yourselves like I did. I was a lost cause, I figured. I wasn't worth anything, I wasn't worthwhile. I was completely a lost cause. And I don't want any single, any, any single person on this channel 
anyone here to ever think that of yourselves just because the people you're around are making you feel certain ways and saying certain things that are not nice and uh you know <clears throat> continue fighting continue being who you are um i've always had a huge heart i'm always wanting to help other people be there for other people show as much love as i possibly can and assist in any way that i any way humanly possible because maybe selfishly I get a great feeling out of helping other people when I can um, so don't don't ever give up on yourselves I'm telling you right now you're hearing it from someone who gave up completely and again it's people like you guys who made me really think twice about what I was thinking about myself and really changed changed my whole existence changed my whole life i've told you guys this before but don't take this next statement lightly you guys have saved my life i know there's certain things you can't talk about on on the youtube and stuff so i have to kind of whittle my way around what i'm saying but you guys have saved my life i i believe i'm still here because of the love and legitimacy that you guys put into my life and there's no greater compliment that I could ever, ever, ever put out there than saying thank you for saving my life. I mean, guys, I would, I, I would go to sleep at night, a lot of nights, just praying that once I fell asleep, you know, then I'd sleep permanently. That's no way to live. That's, that's not a fun life. That's horrible. So again i'd like to, i'd like for you guys to really understand that what you guys have done for me and i'm hoping someday this channel will end up being able to provide for my wife and myself um but again those of you who want to start a youtube channel don't ever start your channel trying to make money that's the best advice i can give you is do not do it to make any money do it because you're passionate about what you do and you feel like you might be able to have an impact on other people's lives out there. That's precisely why you want to do your YouTube channel. If the money ends up rolling in, then that's fantastic. Like fantastic, because you're not working a day in your life. You're following your passion and getting rewarded for that. Like how beautiful is that? Like that's, that's amazing. So um, hopefully that'll come for me someday on, on, on this channel. But again, that's that was never, even the top 10 goals of this channel because I never knew that it was a possibility. But uh, yeah, just best advice once again is if you're gonna start a YouTube channel, don't do it for any money because you will drive yourself crazy and you will not you will not pursue your, your end goal because it'll seem like it's never ever gonna happen. Just do it because you love it and do everything in your life because you love it and you're passionate about it. Because as I said, right now, even though, yeah, of, 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 of course I struggle financially, you know, like that's, that's pretty normal these days, but I try to put the next foot forward to try to better my existence and try to better my future. And that's why a year ago is the first time I started asking you guys to hit the like and subscribe button. After seven and a half years, you guys, and 3,000 videos to that point, I had never asked you guys not once to hit like or subscribe because I never even felt like there'd be a chance for me to, to, to earn anything from this. And I was happy just the way that it was, just to be able to communicate and chat with you guys and have these beautiful relationships with you guys, that was enough for me. But when I got married, I realized that I do owe, owe, owe my wife the best opportunities that I can possibly provide. So that takes working hard and, and, and being extra humble and doing what I can to ask for help. Obviously, I'm not asking for handouts. I'm just asking for likes, subscribes, because you feel like what I'm doing is worthwhile. Um, I don't believe in handouts for, for like doing absolutely nothing because in my mind that's considered enabling. But I am a huge proponent of hands up, giving people a hand up and trying to help them with what they love to do. And so again, I'm just hoping that someday through YouTube I will be able to 
to uh, make enough money to where I can pay pay my bills, survive, build another business up here like a hotel or or something, some sort of escape just for you guys, just for you guys. You guys definitely, once I end up opening in, uh, a bed and breakfast or something like that one day, because that's my goal and it, it will happen. I'm manifesting it by believing in myself every day that it's gonna happen and that I'm already turning the wheels to that direction where things are gonna happen for me. You just gotta keep, as I said, putting your foot forward every step. Just, just, just keep moving forward, never give up on yourself and believe that what you're doing is the right thing. And no matter what, you can't fail. You cannot fail, you will win no matter what. If the money comes in, awesome. That's just a huge, huge, huge bonus. But no matter what, you'll be happy feeling rewarded that you've worked so hard to get to where you've gotten um, and doing what you love to do. There's nothing, not a better feeling in life, you guys, than following your passion. So yeah, let's just keep our fingers crossed that someday this channel will will end up help helping me help me pay pay my bills. Help me pay my bills, and uh, you know, at at that point, it'll be where I can give back even even more. As, as you guys know, I've done a, a few giveaways where I've given away like a couple hundred dollars worth of like uh, like Mastercard gift cards and stuff. Like stuff that I can't afford, but I love you guys so freaking much that it, the feeling I get when the winner receives their gift card, it, there's, it's so hard to explain how that feels. It feels so freaking awesome. So just please understand guys, I'm, I'm always here for you guys. I will always do the best I can. I will always give my best advice and try to lead by example always life is not fair life will never be perfect as we want it to be but again if you can just just keep on moving forward keep on fighting for a beautiful wonderful existence and not just sitting on the couch expecting everything to happen then you know what no matter what you're going to feel great about yourself no matter what so anyway that's that's my little spiel um that spiel is because of you guys, because of what you guys have done for me emotionally. And I will always, no matter how annoying I am, always share with you guys these thoughts and these experiences and some of the strength that I have derived from what I've gone through being with you guys. So thank you guys again for everything. I love you guys. I love you guys so much. And by the way, guess where we are? We're at Holcomb Valley. I talked the whole way till we got here, unbelievable. So we're gonna take a nice look at Holcomb and then we're gonna try and find the way through this whole area to get to the fawn skin part of this run. So here's a couple older cabins. Remember, this area was the populated part of this whole Big Bear area. This is where everything was happening. There were cabins everywhere up here this is where people lived during the gold rush there there weren't people living down in big bear lake and big bear city this is where everyone lived look at how gorgeous this area is guys and just real quick i'm going to take a look at our elevation let's see here give me a second okay guys hang on okay you guys so this is our elevation 7,265.5 feet right now up in the Holcomb area. And because this is on the, I believe it's the Eastern, I'm probably wrong. The Eastern side of the mountain range, maybe kind of on the desert side. They don't get as much snow here as you would at this ele elevation on the other side. But check this out. Let me zoom in. That's San Gorgonio poking out way out there, I believe. Oh gosh, I sure hope so because I'd be really embarrassed if it's not. But yeah, so this part of the mountain range doesn't get as much snow. It gets a lot of snow, don't get me wrong, but it's it's nothing like the other side. But yeah, check out Holcomb Valley, guys. Once again, this is where everyone used to live up here. This is a very, very beautiful, beautiful spot. There's a lot of paranormal stuff that goes on up here, apparently. 
and we tried to do a video about that, going to Wilbur's grave and stuff like that, but yeah, this place is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I wish they would make this area a town again. There's so much flat space up here. It's just so gorgeous. Oh yeah, guys, it's so incredible up here. So this, that's the technical, the Holcomb Valley. That, that is Holcomb Valley right there. Again, I really hope you guys can get a good, great perspective of this place. It's, it's pretty weird to think how this area was the populated area during our gold rush here. Drinking my favorite drink. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, what a spectacular day. My day is always better with you guys involved. I'll tell you that much. No matter what I'm going through, it's always a much better day with you guys here with me. Those of you who've been watching for a while, you know that I always say that whenever I hit that record button, it feels like all of you are right here with me. All 21,000 and change are right here with me. I love you guys so much. I, I really enjoy doing this with you guys. So we're coming up to a little crossroad here. I don't want to make a mistake. My cell phone coverage isn't that great right now, as you can imagine. So I just want to make sure that I take us in the right direction. The right direction, yeah? Oh, cheerio, the right direction, eh? And there's so much up here, you guys, in terms of trails and different paths you can take. Not all of them are driving paths, obviously, but um, you can create your own paths also. There's, there's so many, so many potential trails in this area. Not just potential, but actual trails. So I just uh, really try to entice you guys to come up here and enjoy this beautiful part of our mountain range. As you can see, it's extremely quiet, even though it is, I think it's Friday. Let's make sure on my phone. Yep, it's Friday, October 20th. It sure is. This is where I got stuck when I first moved up here. I turned left here. I was trying to drive to Green Valley Lake. Quite a drive from, from this point, but there was such deep snow and I got stuck. And this was before my channel really had much going on and uh, I had to walk about three and a half to four miles as it's getting dark in very cold cold weather to get out of here it was pretty scary it was pretty darn scary so great up here. I get to live here, guys. Like, how, how cool is that? Like, how cool is that? I know some of you are really wanting to move up here. And it's so difficult right now because housing prices are just ridiculous, you guys. Just like everything else. 
I mean, every, every, everything has been so inflated. It's just such a joke. I know a lot of people, guys, who used to uh, have extra money each month after their hard work from their regular jobs. They'd, they'd have extra money. Now they're literally spending all their credit card money just to pay their regular bills. And some of them are at a point where they don't have any more to spend. And it's like, like I'm, I'm really worried about them. I just, I just hope that all of you are, are not struggling too bad and, and being as responsible as you can with your finances right now, because, uh, this is the worst time to, uh, to live <laughs> as far as I'm concerned, since I've been on planet earth for 43 years everything is so expensive it's so ridiculous and i worry about you guys i, I worry about you guys a lot here's 3n08 that does not look like it'll be a fun road once you get through there a bit unless you have a big old truck but i hope we're going the right direction Oh my gosh, my wife wouldn't have liked this drive at all. It's so bumpy. Baby, as much as I wanted you here with me today, I'm so glad you didn't go because you would be so upset at me because it would be killing your neck right now. You guys look at 3N54. Here's another road right here, the 3N54. There, there is so much up here, you guys. There's, there's so much to explore. And for those of you still watching, um, once we get to this winter time, obviously I'm, I'm not insured to drive people around, but if any of you do come to town and it's during a snowstorm and you wanna maybe go for one, for, for one of these, these snow drives that I usually do, I'd love to have you with me. I would love it. That would be, that would be awesome. I would love to have you there. Um, of course, I will drive as safely as possible. I know that I have precious cargo in my vehicle when it's you guys. And I will drive safer than I already do. I know some people are giggling when I say safer, but I don't drive as much like an idiot as I used to when I first moved up here. You guys have, have changed me completely. You guys have taught me how to be more responsible, how to care more about what's around me. You guys truly have been incredible mentors on my on my existence and my growth so thank you i'm once again i owe you guys everything i truly owe you guys everything okay i don't know where i'm going here clearly we're not going this way look at look at this this is man so i'm getting nervous now i don't know why but i'm getting nervous I just gotta keep on driving nice and slow. Some of this road is just not fun. Roll up my window. I'm breathing in too much of oh, this dust. And pretty soon, you guys, before the launch of our website and the merchandise line, stuff like that, I ordered a bunch of stuff so I can at least start to wear some of these products so you guys can see what it all looks like. I'm telling you guys, it's really beautiful stuff. Like, I can't believe it. I'm so excited to wear this stuff for you guys. The stuff that we wore during, during the photo shoot went back with my friend because we still have to do some, some, some more photo shoots and stuff, but um, I think you guys are gonna love it. You guys are gonna love it. There's some cute cartoon characters of, of me um, on some of the articles of clothing. It's just so, so cute, you guys. Wow, this is getting pretty rough wife would not have liked this at all. It 
if her neck was feeling good, this is what she loves to do with me. We love doing stuff like this together. But again, imagine if you have a really sore neck, like just this whole thing rattling your neck constantly would not be fun. And honestly, I have no idea where I'm at. I mean, zero idea. I know we're in the San Bernardino National Forest still, I can tell you that much. And I'm drinking some more Sprite. Mm -mm -mm. Look at this guy, straight, straight ahead. He's, he's turning up a steep part of this hill. I wonder what, 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 what he's doing. Okay, he's turning around. I wonder if he sees something that I don't. What's going on, bro? Hi. Any luck? No, no, just just driving. <laughs> just driving. Is, 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 is it open over here? Really? Well, you guys picked a very beautiful area to um, to a go to. You can you can go through here, and it'll drop you off near Fawnskin. Do you know Fawnskin? No. Um, are 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 you hunting up here? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I wish I was more helpful. <laughs> you have a good enough truck to get through anything. <laughs> All right, guys. You take care too. Have, be safe. Oh, that's awesome, you guys. That is awesome. Kind of makes me a little worried that he turned around right there, but thankfully he doesn't know the area. So that leads me to believe that we're still okay driving forward. I wonder what, what they were hunting for. Maybe Sasquatch, maybe Yeti, the Sasquatchy, Yeti Squatch, I don't know, I have no idea, no oh, I have no idea. Believe it or not, it, 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 it was comforting having someone right in front of me. <laughs> and now I'm all by myself. It makes me very sad. I'm a very sad, sad man. Okay, everything seems to be holding up in my car okay, so that's good. Got my golf clubs just chilling. They're just ready to go. They've been sitting in here for months without any play. So what do you guys think they were hunting for? Why don't you leave it in the comment section and let me know what you think. I, I believe probably not that, that many people are still watching because it's so long into the video, but let me know what you think if you're still watching. That's awesome. That makes me feel good seeing some hikers back here. All right. 
where in the world is Carmen San Diego? That's what I'm wondering. That's what I'm wondering right now. Where in the world is Carmen San Diego? trees downed over here i wonder what the heck that was from maybe a big fire well, we got so we got a road that goes left or right oh my gosh where, where am i going you guys am, am i just going straight here oh i, I don't know oh, i don't know be our guest be our guest do, 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 do. Oh my gosh, look at this. We're gonna have to go around here. And there's a truck just sitting right here. She's collecting tolls. I hope we can make it through here. Look at that. That whole area was just nuts right there. There's no way we would have. Oh, I hope we can get through right here. Come on, please don't bottom out. Please don't bottom out. Guys, this is not, oh, oh. you have no idea what I just went through. I need a change of underwear. We just, uh, um, we just need to be grateful that my truck or my car is is lifted. Look, look at all these guys right here, having a nice little camping adventure. Very cool. Very, very cool. Let me get this other phone out here and go to the mappy. Hey, wonderful. I just dropped my phone. Oh my gosh, I'm dropping everything. Hang on. Gosh, dang it. Okay. So here's this phone. Let me let me find the map. Sorry about that, guys. Where's the mappy maps? I hope this shows me. Okay, I know my car is filthy, guys. I'm, I, I am definitely embarrassed about it. And this phone is not, we're not getting good service, so it's probably not gonna show. That's my, oh my gosh, guys, look, we're, we're, we're getting to, to some gnarly stuff here. Might not look as bad on the camera, but, oh my gosh. This is not exciting. <laughs> right here at the edge of, Whatever it is. When I get to this point, you guys, when I start stressing, I hate the feeling that I get. I just want it to be over. Open, beautiful area up here. That's cool. Let me, uh, whoop, 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 whoop. I was keeping my eye out for fall colors also on this drive because I told you guys I would do a fall colors video and I'm, just, I'm serious about that but it, believe it or not it's not as easy in Big Bear as you would think because we're, we're such an alpine climate. You guys this is not looking good. Go so slow through here. Oh my gosh. Please don't get a flat tire. Please don't get a flat tire. Okay, we're gonna have to go to the left here and scratch the heck out of the car, but that's okay. I'd rather do that than pop the tire. Oh my goodness gracious, great. This is why I, oh my gosh, what is this? 
I thought we were gonna be turning left here. Scared the living daylights out of me. Look at that. That is a road. That is definitely a road. But we're not going down that road. That's three and something. I couldn't read the other numbers. There's a spider just cruising down my windshield. Hello, Mr. Spider. How you doing there, buddy? How you doing? You see him, guys? Hey, there he is. Yeah, I'm nervous. This is not, not cool. Last time I did this drive, I believe it was this drive because I don't know where I'm at, was maybe three years ago. It was with a friend of mine, my, my, my best friend Curtis, who lives down in, in OC. And he has a, a lifted, like the best Wrangler you can get. And so obviously we had no problems getting through this whole area. But thankfully I've got three quarters of a tank of gas left. Oh no. Look at this. We're going to have to ride on like the edge here. at all come on Nick you can do this there's a charred tree right there completely charred here don't 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 get me wrong look at all those dead trees over here look at that what's that all about I'm assuming that was from a fire back here at some point keep in mind we are definitely an area that gets frequent fires okay I gotta be careful over this big rock Let's see what we can do here Ay, ay, ay. And if I want to turn around right here, guys, I'm kind of SOL. I'm just hoping eventually this road takes us out at some, somewhere. I don't even care if it's Fonskin. Just get me out of here. <laughs> That's all I care about. Just get me out of here. Mistake. But I haven't been here in a long time and I wanted you guys to see. And I wore sandals like an idiot, so if I get stuck, I, I'd have to walk out of here in sandals. I'm just not the brightest light out there, you know? Yeah, look at how beautiful this is. Look at the sky. Look at how gorgeous the sky looks. It's almost like we, we're in a whole different area now, right? Okay, we gotta go super slow right here. Come on, buddy. You got this. Okay. It's just gorgeous. It really is gorgeous. So glad I put a bunch of gas in. <laughs> I didn't expect us to be out this long, but that's what happens sometimes up here, you guys. You gotta be extra prepared. And I did a few things that I should have done, like getting the gas and stuff like that. But I didn't do everything, like dress accordingly or let anyone know exactly where I'm going. These are all the rules that I tell you guys to never forget. And I went ahead and forgot. 
Okay, there's the desert down there. Look at that, guys. Look at that. We're way up here. So I have no idea where we're going right now. I really hope we don't end up like down in Lucerne Valley or something. Ride is shaking the living daylights out of me. Here's another road. Okay, so we're on 3N16, it says. Just bear with me, guys. Give me a second. Hang on. All right, you guys, so we're making a U turn. I checked out. Thank goodness my cell phone was getting service, or I would have kept on going. This road takes us to Green Valley Lake and it's 20 something more miles and it goes way behind Fonskin. So there's no way I don't think that we could have gotten into Fonskin. So we're just gonna turn it around, give you guys a completely different perspective, heading back, keep your fingers crossed that we make it because there were some very scary points of this road. And I am a super wuss. Super wuss. Da 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 I just don't want to be driving faster going back. All excited that I know I'm gonna get out of here. Got a nice little steep cliff right here. Again, the desert way out in the distance. Wow. Let me put this phone down here. Yeah, this is not what I expected. But at least we got to do a beautiful little drive, as scary as it was for me. And keep in mind, we still have to go through all that heavy duty stuff that we just went through. So I'm not too thrilled about that, but. <sighs> scared, man, I'm scared. Very scared. I'm very scared. I'm scared. I am scared. I don't, oh my gosh, I'm scared. I'm so scared. Sprite made me feel a little better. Thank you, Mr. Sprite. I love you so much. You're a darn good, good drink. So yeah, we're gonna take this. We're gonna record all the way out of here. Again, even though we're taking the same road back. Oh gosh, here we go. Um, since it's on camera and we're going the complete opposite direction, you're going to get completely different views as if we're on a completely different road. So I hope you all enjoy it and keep your fingers crossed that we don't have any issues getting out of here. I should have turned around where those dudes turned around, but no, look at, see, look at this view. Look at that view, man. That is something else. So gorgeous. Wow, wow, wow. Wow. All right, Nick, slow down, Turbo. Dun, 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 dun. Next time I do something like this, I'm going to look up these 3N16 and 2N10 and stuff like that before. I go on the drive so I know which ones to turn down to get me where I need to go. But yeah, look at look at how look at how beautiful this is. Un, unreal. And then we got this huge little rut in the road here. There we go. Let's get, oh my gosh. Come, oh gosh. Alright, we made it. There's a few spots that are absolutely horrifying coming up. Once we get through those, I promise you I will be so much more acting like a man instead of such a little wimp. Go. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I need my my wife right here baby where are you i need you here with me babe there's my beautiful baby i need you babe all right 
right, hang tight again. I need to put my Zin in. Okie dokie, artichoke. Left a while, crocodile. Do, 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 do. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. Left a while, crocodile. I just want to get through these rough spots coming up as quickly as possible. Okay, here's one of them. Not a fan. Not a fan. Oh my gosh, I don't, I don't like this. I know this isn't going to be good for my axles. Riding on the side. Oh my gosh, Nick, you're such an idiot, dude. Oh, come on, let's get to the flat spot. My car's not liking this. Again, it's a lot scarier than it looks, you guys. Ah! I'm not cut out for this. My goodness gracious, I'm not cut out for this. But it sure is beautiful. I mean, it sure is beautiful. I was saying, thank goodness we don't have to drive down there. My gosh. My gosh. It's not even a road. It's like a fault line. Okay. Oh, here's some of the fun spots coming up now. Oh, gosh. <sighs> okay, we made it. Once we get up to that group where we saw all those Jeeps camping and stuff like, like that, once we get through that part, that was like the first of the really difficult parts to get through as we came further this direction. Oh my God, yeah, see guys, this is not, again, we're gonna scratch the car because I don't care. It's my car and I'll scratch it if I want to. Okay, come on, buddy. Remember guys, when you're in situations like this, just go as slow as you possibly can. Just, I don't know, actually, I don't have good advice for stuff like this, to be honest. I'm just telling you what I'm doing. Um, just to try to, to try to avoid any, any issues. Hope you guys are enjoying the drive. Again, I, I apologize for being such a such a wimpy dimpy, but it is what it is. Oh my gosh, this is not going to be good either. If we go over as far as we can to the left here. Scratch us up a little bit. Hey, scratchy, itchy and scratchy show. All right. Do this again. Drive over the middle of this little gap here and then cut back. Okay, cool. So we're getting up to these trucks and their whole camping thing here. Oh, yeah. Look at these trucks though. I mean, those things are like no problem getting, getting through. I just don't want to point the camera at them and be rude like that. They probably are trying to get away from all this stuff. Okay, yeah, this is my last real scary part, guys. I think I just don't want to bottom out right here. If we do and get stuck, if we high center, at least we have all these big trucks to help me out. 
Remember guys, that's what we were gonna have to go over right there. Let me zoom in. It doesn't look like much, I'm telling you, but it, in person, this is a lot gnarlier than it looks, guys. Or maybe I am just that big of a wimp. Maybe I am. And that's okay. <laughs> that's okay. <laughs> Come on, buddy. So once we get closer towards exiting this area, if there's a different way that I can find out without getting lost, I'll definitely do that for us. Here we go, we're at a major crossroad. There's a road here, over here. Looks beautiful, big and wide. So what I think I am gonna do guys is when I get a, a little, I'm gonna save up a little bit of money because I really wanna do the Big Bear Jeep experience. So you get to rent a really like souped up four wheel drive Jeep, Jeep Wrangler lifted and everything set for drives like this. We're gonna take that and take this road all the way to Green Valley Lake. Oh my goodness gracious. I think we'll have a lot of fun doing that you guys. With no cell phone service though, I just could not take that risk, especially no one knowing where I'm at. My wife knows that I was going to Holcomb, but that's it. She had no idea how deep I was planning on actually going. guys in the white truck turned around I think I wish them happy hunting for sure whatever they're hunting for I'm not much of a hunter not much of a fisherman either That Sprite went flat, like really quick. I, I, I don't understand. It's so gorgeous over here. Again, driving this direction and recording, it, it, it just looks like a completely different drive. So I'm really glad that I kept the camera rolling. That's where they turned around, right here. Okay. Once we get up here to the end of Holcomb Valley, I'm gonna um, check if I have service what this other road leads to because that might be the one that takes us into fawn skin. I've accidentally made it there before, not knowing where I was going, and then it just let me out over there. And I thought, hey, where am I? And then realized I was in fawn skin.
this was where they turned around. I don't know. It all looks the same to me. But we're definitely making a little better time heading out this way as opposed to when we came in. Yeah, Rachel, baby, you would have hated this. Your neck would have been flopping back and forth. And yeah, I'm, I'm really glad you didn't come. You would have been so sore afterwards. That big hill of rock right there. We'll just call that Rock Hill. I do remember that. I wish I had the courage guys because we would have kept on going to Green Valley Lake and Green Valley Lake area you guys I think in this mountain range is the snowiest town because of its elevation and its location on the mountain range here comes another car And this is another road right here, 3 and 54. Calling car 54, calling car 54. Oh, 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 oh. Okay, 3 and 08. I don't think that's the one we want to go down. I, I gotta find the one at the very end of the Holcomb. Let's see what the name of that one is and then look it up real quick before we go any further because we might be able to, to get out through there again it doesn't matter though because the perspective of the video will be completely different for you guys from either direction I just want to make sure that you guys aren't seeing the exact same thing over and over again even though we are in the mountains and a lot of it does look the same that road I was talking about so I'm gonna put the phone down for a second and look up this road to see hopefully I have enough service what is I should have looked at the sign maybe that would have helped so big pine highway 38 three miles this way okay so 3 and 12 hang on guys let me check it out Give me a okay so my cell phone service isn't that great so we're not gonna go down 3 and 12 3 and 12 I think it was just gonna stay on this and head back out to Pollock Canyon. 
get some more good views of Holcomb over here. Hey, keep on banging my phone into the windshield. Holcomb over here. It looks like a lot of good places to just go camping, you know? valley right there I mean I'm serious guys this is just spectacular up here could you guys imagine how big of a town they could have up here with all this flat area they could really do something special up here maybe build a big beautiful resort up here that's kind of out of the way not smushed in with all the others That is so beautiful. Yeah, guys, this is like 500 feet or more above Big Bear Lake. How crazy is that? afraid of being stuck or stranded. It really is beautiful. <laughs> this whole area, guys, look at how huge it is. Bye, Holcomb. Bye, Mr. Valley. We'll see you later. Well, that's it for my flat sprite. so happy you guys cruised along with me today thank you guys again we still have a little ways to go but i just want to say thank you again for doing this with me and showing interest in this beautiful town that we live in obviously we're not going straight but that is another road that we could go on we're turning right here we're definitely not going down that road no definitely not that road We are on 
on Pollock Canyon Road. I think there is another name for it at, at, at this point, like a 3N something, but I'm not totally sure. Look at this long straightaway. Driving up here at nighttime is, yeah, it's 2N09. Or maybe no, or maybe this, no, that's 3N16, huh. So if we go out 3N16, it'll take us out by Van Dusen Canyon, I believe. But we're just gonna take this route back out. Cause again, it's, even though it's the same route, it's a completely different perspective. But yeah, this, this place at nighttime, you guys, is something else. I don't really believe in the paranormal and stuff like that, but maybe deep down I do a little bit because I do get scared. Which road is this now? No overnight camping. Oh, it's it's a little, it's a campground. And to the right, there's quite a big campground as well, but I don't see many people camping right now. I've seen this whole area. Yep, it's a campground. I've seen this whole area completely packed with people. Just not today. And as, as you guys can see, that there's so much flat area up here at this much higher elevation than the Big Bear Valley. It's, it's really awesome. Jeez Louise. I'm so excited about our first snowstorm, guys. Can't wait to start doing our winter videos. I know a lot of you are really excited also. That feels great. It feels great knowing that a ton of you are super, super stoked for the wintertime videos to come across the line again. I just still, I, I still can't believe it's my ninth year. It, it'll be my ninth winter. And I still have yet to miss a single storm. Pretty remarkable. I know I'm driving on the wrong side of the road, but I'm trying to avoid this stuff on the right. So up here in a little bit, we're gonna get to a little area where it's it's some, some paved road. It's pretty odd, it's just a short little stretch of paved road in the middle of this whole area. But once we get to that point, that's when I know I'm really close to getting back to humanity <laughs> and to normalcy. I shouldn't say normalcy because my life is far from normal, but as normal as it gets. It's almost like when I'm done with these certain drives, I I get that feeling like I survived something and so it's a great feeling. Almost like I wanna kiss the ground that I'm walking on down there once I get back. In my other car, I used to drive so fast on this road right here, maybe 50 or 60 miles an hour sometimes. Obviously that was six or seven, eight years ago, but uh, that's just not smart. I was not that smart. Again, you guys have helped me with so much. You guys have turned me into much, much better of a man. You guys have, have given me great advice on things I should be doing instead of what I regularly do. So again, I can't thank you guys enough for the love and support you always show me.
also in the winter time, you guys, I don't think this side is usually closed with fences. Unlike uh, the like up by Snow Summit and, and, and Bear Mountain, all of those dirt roads usually have gates that close for the winter time. I think besides the time I got stuck, well, clearly it was open because I got stuck with snow everywhere, but um, I can't remember what time of year that was whether they had just opened the gates or what. But this side, typically, you have access to year-round. Um, they might put up some regular signs to say, hey, don't, don't go down these roads right now, it's closed. But other than that, this area is pretty much open. Hey. I had to take that phone call real quick. I am getting phone service now, so that's good. part of the road someone explained to me why it's paved and I completely forgot but yeah pavement ahead does not last long. <laughs> it does not last long. You guys will see. Oh, it feels like I'm driving like a Bentley because it's so smooth right now. I'm driving my Subaru Royce. Or my Ferrari Roo. Lamborghini Roo. As I said, once I hit this portion of, of these drives over here in the Holcomb area, oh my gosh, it makes me so happy knowing that I'm almost, almost out of here. I am out of here. Audi 5000, yo. All right, let's see here. Yep, here we go, back to the dirt road. Oh, oh gosh, no. Not more dirt road. That's what I should have done when I got out before is take out the uh, the pine needles stuck in my windshield wipers. Hey, for a moment, you guys, I'm gonna keep the camera outside the car, holding it outside the car because the windshield with the sun shining on it is not looking too good to look out, so. Hopefully the wind isn't a big deal. Here I go. You gotta love it. 
You gotta love it. Obviously, this is a very back type of a road, but don't park in the middle of the road, guys. Never a good idea. Never a good idea. So I think now this road has become Pollock Canyon Road. Again, I'm, I'm pretty sure back there where we just were, it changes to one of those numbered roads like 3N16 or 3N08 or something like that. Hey, we got a paved portion right here. Let me see. Got another message I gotta check here real quick. Is 2N09. Okay, so maybe, okay, that was 2N09 over there. For some reason I thought that we, on this side, were 3N something. And I thought the two ends were on the other side of the mountain. Of course, my friend, I'll be back in my area in about 20 minutes. start to come into some nice views. Is Highway 38 still closed? Are you going to be coming up the front side? Because if so, let's just meet up then. some nice views. There's San Gorgonio back there. The very center of the screen on the left, now a big pine tree is blocking the view. But you can see San Gorgonio. And my goodness, it's absolutely gorgeous today, you guys. more view over there. There's the lake right there. That's a beautiful view right there. My gosh, you guys, that is gorgeous. I know, I know you can't really see the lake too well from there, but that's beautiful. Just beautiful. You can see some fall colors mixed in with with everything else but I'm telling you guys it's it's not as intense 
of fall foliage as you would expect being in an area where we've already had plenty of freezing temperatures already in the past month or two. you who do spend time up here do get a chance to come up to this area and do some of this expedition style stuff because it is really beautiful and I always want you guys to have a great time ever ever imagined especially if you don't mind doing the camping thing gosh there's so much beauty and look at this view it's not going to be the greatest through the camera but look at this view wow Seeing some beautiful fall colors here, some of these oranges and yellows. I just really wish that our fall fall colors were like they are in like Vermont, you know? Rhode Island, New Hampshire. But this is beautiful. Well, this is definitely beautiful. Look at all this. As I said, what we're gonna do for the fall foliage video, since I'm not allowed to fly my drone on the channel, it's so lame. Um, well, it's because I'm not licensed, so I don't want anyone to turn me in uh, just for videoing some beautiful colors. What I'm gonna do is just drive around town and anywhere that I see some beautiful fall colors, I'll hit the record button and then I'll stop it when we're through that area and then I'll drive to the next area and as soon as I see some good colors, We'll record it so it'll be bits and pieces of the whole valley so probably do that next week and again like it's just so beautiful you guys i can never stop saying that about this gorgeous area after being here for almost nine years now i've i've realized that sometimes i take it for granted and i never thought that would be a possibility while living here. I thought I would always be so grateful to be here without ever any taking it for granted. But unfortunately, I am human and things happen. But I try to realize it all the time and snap myself out of it. And remember, would I rather be living here than where I came from in Newport Beach again? Of course. Newport's beautiful, but it's changed significantly since just in the past 20 years. It's it's a it's it's a different place. It's it's not 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 the same, not the same feeling. Being up here, it's like I can get away from uh, from all the craziness going on down the mountain. It's almost like we're living in a time capsule up here. And I like that. I like that a lot. All right, guys. Well, we're getting near the end here. We are getting near the end of Pollock Canyon Road. This is right off of Highway 38, y'all. There's signage that you'll be able to see for Pollock Canyon. You shouldn't have any issues getting up here and getting through here, as you saw. 
lots of vehicles do come through here. I don't want you to be too worried. Unlike me though, just, just try to figure out where you're going first. Um, obviously let a few people know where you're going and when to expect to hear from you to make sure you made it safe and sound. Again, these are all rules that I have not followed today. So um, I hate to sound like a hypocrite, but your safety is more important than mine all day long. So anyway, look, we're back here on Highway 38, North Shore. Thank you guys again for cruising with me today. I love you all very much, and uh, we will we will chat soon. It's October 20th, 2023. Peace out. Until next time. Bye, you guys. Subscribe and like. I forgot to ask. Subscribe and like. We'll talk to you guys later. Peace.